Hey guys, thought I'd give you an update on the tree situation. So uh, we got out here over the Memorial Day weekend, worked our tails off, and as you can see, the tree is gone, all except for the burn pile right here. So uh, we came out here on Monday on Memorial Day, and uh, Scott Tyndall actually came down, YouTube viewer from up in uh, uh, North Georgia, brought his wife and daughter down, and they loaded up a load of, of uh, firewood to uh, take back with them. And uh, that helped out. He kind of helped out a little bit that afternoon, and then uh, I rested and came back out that evening, finished knocking it out, and basically got the rest of the tree all cut up. And I just kind of piled everything up kind of over in this area. And on Tuesday, uh, the museum came out a couple of times. Still had the tractor here with the forks on it, and uh, we loaded them up uh, with two more big loads of firewood, and they carried it back. All in all, the museum ended up getting four big flatbed trucks, like two-ton truckloads of firewood to take back to the museum, and they'll cut all that up, split it up. They've got a wood processor that they can uh, run that through. So uh, glad that we're gonna be able to save some of it. Uh, there was a couple of uh, logs from the upper part of the tree that were part of the main trunk that uh, I think we're gonna be able to put on the sawmill. And uh, I'm hoping we're gonna fire the sawmill up here in the next couple of weeks and uh, maybe try to get some lumber sawed out of it. We'll just have to see. And right now all that's left here is the big burn pile, like I said before. And I just gotta get a burn permit, uh, permission to burn this. And normally it's not a big deal. I, I actually went this morning and uh, went on the Georgia website, tried to get a burn permit, and they would not issue me a burn permit for today. Said that the atmospheric conditions was not conducive for smoke dispersion, which uh, I don't know why, but here in Tiff County, Georgia, that seems like they have that on there a lot. I live about 250 yards from the Berrien County line, so I'm not, literally my property line touches the neighboring county. And I went on there just out of, for kicks and looked, and I can get a burn permit in Berrien County. I just can't get one in Tiff County today. Uh, I don't know why they do that. Uh, they tend to be a little bit of a pain when it comes to getting burn permits. But hopefully we can get this thing uh, fired up here in the next week or two, get the burn pile gone, and uh, that will wrap up the saga of the giant tree. And hopefully we can move on and uh, still sad about it being gone, but I'm also at this point kind of glad to have it wrapped up. So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, <laughs> just a little quick update. Uh, I know you guys have been enjoying seeing this. Had a bunch of requests uh, that when I burn it, you wanna see some video of that. So all you pyromaniacs, I'll uh, try to get some uh, footage when we are able to set this thing on fire and start burning it. And uh, you know, I know I get some, got some comments. Why don't you chip it up? Why don't you, instead of burning it? Guys, it just costs a lot of money to get a chipper out here. And uh, you know, you may not like it, but it's legal in the state of Georgia to burn a, uh, you know, a pile that's natural vegetation. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. So anyway, that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching, we'll talk to you later.